special topics. In a recent phone call on Saturday, October 27, 2021, our beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai spent precious time to share her love and wisdom, answering some questions that members had on various topics. Today we're blessed to present the insightful phone call entitled Free Will is to Choose the Righteous Way, Part 1 of 3, on Between Master and Disciples, given in English on October 27, 2021. Warning, sensitive content. Hello? Hello, Master. Yeah, hi, how are you? Oh, uh, good, very <laughs> good. Thank you, Master. <laughs> good, good, good. I'm glad. I'm glad we're okay. Yes. wonder if I can uh, ask you some uh, questions. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Can do, can do, of course. Oh, uh, it's very late here where I am, you know, maybe oh, a couple yeah. of hours after midnight, but still I'm ready for you to grill. <laughs> <laughs> it will warm up a little bit for winter Yes, <laughs> when you grill. <laughs> yes, maybe wake wake you up. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. Matthew. Tell me. Okay. U.S. President Joe Biden will travel to the Vatican to meet with Pope Francis on Friday. As Biden comes under pressure from conservatives over his position on abortion. His administration has recently challenged a new near-total ban on abortion in Texas, and the Supreme Court will hear the case next Monday. Conservative Catholic media and bishops have criticized Biden for his stance, with some saying he should be banned from receiving communion, the central sacrament of the faith. Biden will be meeting with the Pope on October 29th to discuss various topics. Yeah. And since, uh, like Pelosi, Biden is a Catholic and is pro-abortion, mm -hmm. what does Master think about him meeting the Pope? Wow, what do I think? Why? <laughs> Are you even surprised? Yes? No. <laughs> yeah, birds with the same feather flock together. Hmm? Yes. Ah, they're all politicians. I'm very surprised myself. Not because they meet each other, but even the highest priest in the Catholic system is a politician. Yes. Highly political. Yeah, what do you think? Yeah, yeah, can you imagine Biden goes there and then the whole hands? Oh, oh yes. Maybe kissing <laughs> on the face or what else? Yes. Yeah, like last time he held hands with the Pelosi. Yes. He probably will treat them with all love and tenderness and whole hands and all that. Yes. Oh, <sighs> hold the hand that signs the death of millions of Americans. And even wants to do that abroad as well. Pay for abortion abroad. Oh, wow. Yeah, you know, that kind of hand. Yes. Today, the White House issues what it calls a first-ever national strategy on gender equity and equality and repeated multiple times throughout the 41-page document its unrelenting support for abortion. The administration really doubles down on defending Roe v. Wade, getting rid of Hyde. The Hyde Amendment, a provision that's been in place for more than 40 years, banning tax dollars for being used to fund abortions in the U.S. Right now, both House and Senate versions of the reconciliation Reconciliation bill do not include it. The bill includes funding for abortions worldwide. President Biden is, has authorized the use of our tax dollars to pay for abortions in other countries. So we are taking our money and paying to kill children in developing countries. And so I'm not surprised because he didn't even say anything about molesting children in the church, uh, yes. in the very holy places. Uh, ignore them, just ignore the sin and the suffering of, of all the children, you know, young children, even as young as six years old. My goodness. The girl, yeah, if you remember the news, yes, the yes. report, yes, last time we talked about it. Yes, we did. So, if he can ignore all these sinful deeds from uh, the very holy, so-called holy priests, and now he, he supports abortion, you know, condones it, or support it, then uh, how can you be surprised that these uh, like-minded people meet each other? Yes. Huh? Also more consolidation for their power, okay? Understand. Yeah, what can they discuss? Discuss what? Huh? What to do next according to certain order, whisper in their ears or what? Huh? 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Hold hands and walk together, you know, shoulder to shoulder, you know, despite all the pandemic with the mask mandate. Yes, Master. Yeah, they are hand in hand, shoulder to shoulder, knitted together, you know, joined by shoulders and hips, walking in the holy place of the oh, of God's house. Yes. Remember. He says something to his uh, under pastors that they have to treat them with the style of God. I don't know what God styles, but surely God will not hold hands with the devils. No, no. God will not tell them that you are okay. I have compassion for you. I forgive you all. Go ahead, continue killing them because I will have compassion for you. I will hold your hands all the way, huh? That. Tell me, will God do that? No, for sure not. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, nothing can surprise me anymore. I'm only surprised that no one else in the whole kingdom of Catholics says anything. I mean, some of them say something. But I don't know if they have any power to say anything to the Pope or to change his mind or to change the policy of the Catholics. That is rampant killing. 40 to 50 million of innocent babies die yearly through abortion. Oh my gosh. Yes. Thanks to all these uh, leaders and thanks to the holy of the holy pop condoning. Yes. And supporting and ignoring and still ignoring the molestation, sexual assaulting from all the Catholic priests to the little babies and children. Yes. Not just molesting but killing outright. From the worm out already, yeah? Yes. And even to the day of birth. <sighs> Can you see that? Yes, I see. So what's the use of him? Standing there sometimes uh, condemning the bombing of whatever country to another country. Yes. And condemning the German Führer before killing of the Jews. Yes. What does he care anyway? He's wearing this robe which is a protective armor. Nobody can touch him. Nobody can do anything to him. So he can say anything he wants. Now you understand. Yes. I'm not surprised. What would you want me to say, huh? Well, Master, when God gives us free will, uh -huh. why can't people do what they want, like getting abortions? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pelosi also defends the supporting abortion law. She say like that. But God gives us free will. <laughs> I don't know why. You talk like her. Oh. You just want to understand, right? Yes, Master. Yeah, sure. I tell you. God gives us free will because God is not a dictator. If God has is a dictator, has will not be a God. Yes. Has is unconditional. God is unconditional. But God also makes laws. Like, thou shalt not kill. Yes. Thou shalt not lie. Thou shalt not uh, bear a false witness. Thou shalt not steal, etc., etc. Yes. Just like your country, America, is a free country. Yes, it is. Absolutely. Your country's people are free, not restricted in any way. Like some of the restricting countries that we call them uh, dictating countries or whatever you call them. Yes, yes. But there are laws in your country. Yes. If you kill anybody, you go to jail. That's right. You could be even executed. Depends on what state in your country. Yes, we do that. So, same in the universal law. You are free to choose, but you have to choose rightly. You have to choose the thing that's holy, wholesome. You cannot harm other people. You cannot harm others for your sake. That's why I say whatever you don't want to be done to yourself, don't do it to others. This is the most frequently performed abortion and is used typically from 5 to 13 weeks of pregnancy. The suction machine is turned on with a force 10 to 20 times more powerful than your household vacuum cleaner. The baby is rapidly torn apart by the force of the suction and squeezed through this tubing down into the suction machine. A late-term abortion is done in two ways, either through dismemberment or through a partial birth abortion ban where the, the skull is crushed or both. Your patient today is 17 years old. She's 22 weeks pregnant. Her baby is the length of your hand plus a couple of inches. And she's been feeling her baby kick for the last several weeks. But she's asleep on an operating room table. This is a grasping instrument. When it gets a hold of something, it does not let go. 
A DNA procedure is a blind abortion, so picture yourself introducing this and grabbing anything you can blindly and pull, and I do mean hard, and out pops a leg about that big, which you put down on the table next to you. Reach in again, pull again, and pull out an arm about the same length, which you put down on the table next to you. And use this instrument again and again to tear out the spine, the intestines, the heart and lungs. You know you did it right if you crush down on the instrument and white material runs out of the cervix. That was the baby's brains. Then you could pull out skull pieces. And you have a day like I had a lot of times, sometimes a little face comes back and stares back at you. If you are a baby in the mother's womb, what would you like? Being uh, torn from limb to limb to pluck you out? Or do you want to wait until your time comes, come out, say hello to the world and contribute and live the life that God gives you. I would want to live. Yes, all beings on this planet want to live. And that's why God created life. You see what I'm saying? Yes. But like everything in the material uh, construction, it will go to the end at one time or another. Yes. Everything constructed by material will diminish at one time or another. Yes. It's just like a very strong house. Sometimes it crumbles because it's too old. I understand. So that is a law of nature. You're born and then you will die, but not being murdered and torn from limb to limb like that to pluck out. I understand. This is absolutely evil, more than evil. Yes, totally against what God wants. Yes, yes, totally. That is not free will. Free will, you have to choose what's good, what's bad. God sent yes. His Son to come down to show you what is the way to choose, to exercise your free will, yeah? Yes. Thou shalt not kill. You have called the Women's Health Protection Act, which did pass the House, nothing short of child sacrifice. What is your reaction to that? How Speaker Pelosi responded? She almost seemed to distance herself from saying you are her archbishop, and she defended her stance with free will. Well, we all agree with that. Certainly God has given us free will, and God respects our free will even when we use it to kill the innocent. So uh, there's no, yeah, we have free will, but the, the Christian knows that uh, he or she must use the free will in accordance with God's will, which means we need a well-formed conscience in order to decide what it's the right thing to do in a given situation. So it, it's a matter of forming the conscience properly so we can align our will with God's will and do what God wants us to do. In every religion, all the masters say that. So the free will is that you should choose the righteous way, the right way. Whatever you don't want to be done to yourself, don't do it to others, because others also have free will to live. Yes. He doesn't harm you. A little baby, little fetus, what does he do to you? Nothing. My God, you should be happy that God gives you a little loving, beautiful being to hug, to hold their hands, to, to take care until he or she grows up, to be something great in their own right. Even they don't have to be uh, Einstein or Tesla. They can be anything to contribute to society. Because in society, we need all kinds of intelligence, all kinds of work, all kinds of contribution. Yes. Even laborers who clean the hospitals, who clean the hotels, who wash dishes, in the restaurants, who pluck the fruits and vegetables, they're all great. Yes, yes. Without them, you cannot live. No, Master. Without doctors, you cannot live. Without nurses, you'll be in trouble. But without laborers to pluck fruits, to clean the hospitals, to clean the hotels, you also be in trouble. There are laborers who clean the street, who take the garbage for you. These are all great in my eyes. Yes, Master because we cannot live without them. We need everyone's uh, contributions. You're right. You see that? Yes. So it doesn't matter if they are going to be famous or, you know, a big brain or anything. No, everybody is great because everybody is necessary on this planet to keep it all going fine yes, and yes. smooth and wonderful. But we have to choose the right way. We cannot harm anyone any animal, people, any human beings. And these are just little babies. My goodness, how cruel, how evil can you be if you kill them? And then if the government condones it and makes the law that they should do it, encourages it, you see? Yes. And the Pope 
It's supposed to be the holiest of all the holy. Yes, yes, holiest indeed. Very, very holy. Whole, you know, like the whole. Empty. Empty whole, yes. yes. It's not holy. Holy, very holy indeed. I'm so ashamed. My father was a Catholic. Oh, I didn't know. Christian. Yes. My mother, Buddhist tradition, but I'm so ashamed. I'm so ashamed that any church people would condone this kind of practice. <laughs> 